What's up guys, welcome back to the Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be making a Long Island iced tea and not only that, we're gonna be making four different variations that are kind of the most iconic variations on the Long Island. So the Long Island was created, or this guy named Robert Rosebud Butt claimed that he created the Long Island iced tea at the Oak Beach Inn uh, bar in Long Island in 1972, uh, I believe. Uh, and apparently it was a contest for a triple, adding triple sec to a cocktail and just doing like a good triple sec cocktail. Now, there is a little bit of a misconception about this um, cocktail because a lot of people think it's super alcoholic. And the reason why they think that is because there's four different spirits in it. Now, Barring any nightclubs that do very um, unresponsible drink pouring, there really is not that much more alcohol in this than a normal cocktail, seeing as like, if you're pouring this drink responsibly, sorry, I just like caught myself, I was like, Meep, and then I caught myself. Uh, if you're pouring this drink responsibly, you're only doing half an ounce of each thing, maybe three quarters of an ounce. Some bars like to charge 15 bucks for it and to serve it in a pint glass and do three quarters of an ounce, which uh, times four is gonna add up to three ounces. I like to do half an ounce, serve it in a nice 12 ounce um, highball glass. And uh, that's all I got for you. Let's get into the cocktail. So first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna do our like traditional lemon sour by adding three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice and three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup to our tin. And then the rest of the cocktail is pretty simple. It's just equal parts of everything. So we're gonna do half an ounce of gin half an ounce of vodka, half an ounce of light rum, and half an ounce of tequila. Now we are upping the proof a little bit because I'm using 99 proof tequila, which I really love. This is like one of my workhorse tequilas. Uh, and then we're gonna do half an ounce of Cointreau. Now the reason why I'm using Cointreau is because it is closer to triple sec uh, than uh, let's say Curacao would be. So the difference is, is that Cointreau is a uh, neutral grain spirit that's been macerated with oranges. So you get like orange liqueur. It's very dry on the finish. It's not gonna add a lot of sugar. Whereas something like Curacao, uh, not only does it use a particular orange, but it also is a brandy base. So it'd be closer to something like uh, Grand Marnier. Uh, so we're gonna add half an ounce here and it's better to do Cointreau or triple sec for this because uh, you're adding simple syrup and lemon, and if you used curacao, it would make it a little bit more in body. It would be, have like more body, but it would also be a little sweeter. Whereas the uh, the Cointreau or the triple sec is uh, gonna be uh, drier on the finish and less sweet. So we're just gonna add some ice cubes into our tin, I mean, into our glass. And then we're gonna add some ice cubes into the big tin. And yes, I'm using my hands to do it. Uh, we're going to add the cocktail in and give it a nice hard shake. And then we are just gonna add our drink into our glass. I'll put this over here. And then to give it that iced tea look, we're gonna add a little bit of Coke on top. I'm using Mexican Coke here just cause it's got the natural sugar, no high fructose corn syrup. So it's like healthy Coke. And then I just made like a little um, lemon flag for the garnish. So there it is, my friends, the Long Island iced tea. So for our first Long Island variation, we're gonna be doing the Adios Motherfucker, also known as the AMF. I'm not gonna really give you history on all of these because I don't think a lot of people know where the history is, but this is one of the most iconic variations on a Long Island. So first thing we're gonna do is, ah, let's start with our, let's start with our cheap ingredients first. Always cheap ingredients first if you can help it, guys. So three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, half an ounce of gin, half an ounce of vodka, half an ounce of light rum, half an ounce of tequila, and what makes it the adios, half an ounce of blue curacao, which is basically just curacao tinted blue with coloring. Get some ice in our big tin and our glass. Add our cocktail, give it a nice hard shake. I like to double strain the little ice chips out. Pour it over ice. And then top with lemon lime soda. You can use any lemon lime soda you want. Actually, this is also very good if you find like a bitter lemon. Today I'm doing Mexican Sprite. Just 
top that up. And then we're just gonna give it a little lemon. And there it is, the adios motherfucker, or AMF. So for our next Long Island variation, we're gonna be making the Long Beach iced tea. Essentially a Long Island iced tea, instead of Coke, we're putting cranberry juice on top of it. Today I'm using a little like she-she cranberry juice from Whole Foods, but I think traditionally, and then most bars are gonna make it with Ocean Spray Cranberry Cocktail, uh, which would be a little bit different, but I like the, the she-she stuff, so I'm gonna use that. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, three quarter an ounce of simple syrup, and there's our lemon sour base. And then we're gonna be doing an equal part of everything, half an ounce. So half an ounce gin, half an ounce vodka, half an ounce rum, half an ounce tequila, half an ounce Cointreau, Add our ice to our tin. Add some ice to the glass. Give it a nice hard shake, center our glass. Double strain. And then top up with cranberry. And then our little garnish, put a little flamingo on this one, the Long Beach iced tea. So the very next variation that we're gonna do is called a Tokyo tea. It is called a Tokyo tea because we're using Midori in place of uh, Cointro. And so a little bit on Midori, oh, this bottle's kind of seen better days. I've had this bottle around for a while. Uh, Midori is a muskmelon flavored liqueur that was um, exclusively manufactured in Japan until 1987. It is created by Suntory of the company Centauri, and it is now manufactured in the United States, Mexico, and Japan. Uh, Midori is the Japanese word for green, that's why it's called green, and it does have some chemicals in it, and that's how you get this nice ectoplasm color. I have tried for a very long time to get cocktails, like, like I, I wanted to make like a house-made melon liqueur that had that same color, and I tried lots of various natural dyes and stuff so that we couldn't use any chemicals, and I have failed thus far. So I think the best uh, sub for, Sador, for Midori is Midori. All right, so what we're gonna do for our cocktail is three quarters an ounce of lemon juice, three quarters an ounce of simple syrup. Then we're gonna be doing our usual ounce, half an ounce of everything. So half an ounce of gin, half an ounce of vodka, half an ounce of rum, and Half an ounce of tequila. That makes up the main body of our cocktail. Then we're gonna do half an ounce of Midori. Then we're gonna add our ice to the tin. Try not to forget our glass. <laughs> Put that right there. Give it a shake. Pour it. That nice ectoplasm green color. And then top up with Sprite. Now usually you do like a little lemon garnish on this and you can. I thought it's just nice the way that it looks so I'm gonna just leave this one garnish this. There it is, the Tokyo Tea. So for our last Long Island variation, we're gonna be making a drink called Texas Tea. I'm not sure exactly why it's called Texas Tea. Well, okay, I know why it's called Texas Tea. It's called Texas Tea because we're putting bourbon in place of um, uh, Cointreau, and maybe they drink a lot of bourbon in Texas. That being said, wouldn't that, if we're putting bourbon in there, wouldn't that make it a Kentucky Tea? I don't know. It is called a Texas Tea. I think it should be a Kentucky Tea. I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. See me in the con uh, in the comments and uh, tell me what you think. First thing we're gonna do, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. You guys should be old hands at this uh, these ratios. You should have this memorized by now. Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. We're gonna be doing half an ounce of gin, half an ounce 
Vodka. Half an ounce light rum. Half an ounce tequila. As promised, we're gonna be doing, what do you think? That's right, half an ounce. A bourbon, I'm using Evan Williams Bonded Bourbon, which is 100 proof and four years old, and just up and, we're gonna up it up. We're gonna up it a little bit. We're gonna up it up, I said. That doesn't make any sense, but we're gonna, we're gonna up the proof a little bit. I'm gonna get this party started. I'm gonna add some ice into our glass, add some to our tin. Give it a nice hard shake. Add our cocktail. And then top it off with Coke. For this one, I am just going to do a traditional, it's kind of, that's a very long, I kind of want to cut that off. A traditional, just lemon wedge. There it is, Texas tea. So there you have it, the Long Island iced tea and its most iconic variations. Truth be told, there are at least another five variations on the Long Island, which I may reserve for another episode. But these ones are the iconic Long Island iced tea and its most sought after variations. Until next time, guys, stay cool. And if you like our channel, hit like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon. We've got some good exclusive content going on there, patreon.com slash theeducatedbarfly. I will see you then.